Welcome back to City Scene. We're in River Park North, although you wouldn't guess it by my Cape Buffalo friend behind us here. But you would know it by my other friend here, Christopher Horrigan. How are you, man? Good, Steve. I appreciate you letting us come on out. Uh, I heard you had some unusual things on display. Yes. Uh, right now on display at River Park North, we have a beautiful collection of charismatic megavertebrates from North America and Africa on wait, display. Wait, charismatic invertebrates? Vertebrates, sorry. Yes, those are the big animals everybody really wants to see when they go, uh, go out on safari or they go out west or they're out in the, in the forest. Remind me to write that down later on because I know I'm going to have to work that into some kind of a conversation later on with Jonathan. It's going to be worth like a $5 conversation <laughs> or something like that. Well, this is cool. You guys have had these, though, for a while, right? Yeah, they were uh, part of the original Nature Center here. Um, mm -hmm. They were put up in probably about 1987, 1988, and they hung high on the walls here in the Nature Center, uh, the previous Nature Center, until Hurricane Floyd in 1999. Uh, mm -hmm. They were hung high, so they survived very well. Not very many things survived no. uh, that flood from, uh, from this nature uh, center perspective. Uh, they were one of those that did survive, and we've had them in our collection ever since. And to celebrate the 10th anniversary, we worked with our maintenance department, local artists, and were able to bring these down and hang them on display. It's hard to believe it's been 10 years since the new Walter Stasevich Science and Nature Center had opened up. That's pretty cool. It's a good way to, to remember the history through here. Yeah. That's awesome. Do you plan on doing anything special with it? Are you going to like run around with the buffalo head on or anything? No, the nice thing about it is the way that they're on there, we can rotate these out. Um, mm -hmm. We probably have another uh, two dozen actually heads in our collection upstairs. So throughout the year, we'll kind of change it up and rotate new animals in. That's nice. Where did you get this thing that it's mounted on? Uh, our maintenance department, our talented maintenance department, uh, built it. And we had two local artists, Sharon Mazurik and John Gross, uh, Grosser. He, they actually painted it together for us. Awesome. So it made you want to put these on display again? They're just beautiful. Um, you know, they have been up in the attic for uh, uh, 10 years now, not on display, 15 years uh, on display. And we really wanted to bring them down and share them with guests for two reasons. One, for their, their, their high quality of, of the products, but also for those people who remember going to the previous Nature Center, mm -hmm. they can come out and view them again as well and tie that to the past. Well, I like how there are still ones that are in the attic right now that you can switch out. So folks that come out now in March and April, by the time May rolls around, you may have a different display up there. We've got a very large moose. We're trying to figure out how they got it up there. I just can't <laughs> fit it through the door. So once we figure out how to get that through the door, that'll be down here as well. Maybe they put it up there before the rafters were all done. Hmm, that's a good, good trick to figure out. All right, you got some other things going on this spring at the Science and Nature Center or just in the park, right? Yeah, quite a bit. Uh, we're working with the United Way. We're redoing our, adding to our natural play area outside. So we've got some new elements going in there. Mm -hmm. um, we've added to our uh, learning garden, which is outside. And then we've got a tremendous number of programs coming up uh, this month. We've got the Love a Sea Turtle 5K. We've got uh, April 1st in search of skunk ape. We don't have Bigfoots around here, Steve. We have skunk <laughs> apes that mm -hmm. inhabit our parks and our areas. And then we have a bunch of uh, great summer camps that are enrolling right now as well. So people like for the summer camps, I know those are very popular. They may, may want to jump on the website and sign up for those right away. Yes. Then. Good advice then. I came up with it myself. So, you know, I got lucky. Um, so for folks who want more information about the park, you got information on the website, right? Yeah, we can go visit the website. Uh, you can uh, also learn about uh, flora and fauna of the park, and mm -hmm. we can also enroll in the new uh, photography webpage that our IT department designed for us. So you can take your photos out here, upload them there, and participate in that this spring as well. And one of the past winners of the photography contest is actually one of the pictures featured in this year's City of Greenville calendar. So if you see the family of turtles, that was actually photographed by one of our uh, park goers who submitted it to the contest, and we liked it so much we put it into the calendar. So who knows, if you take a great picture, it may end up in next year's calendar as well. That's pretty cool. All right, uh, tell us about your hours of operation. Yes, we are open right now. Uh, starting on the 8th, we'll be open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. for the park, mm -hmm. and that's uh, Sunday through Monday, seven days a week. We still get a lot of phone calls. Are we closed on Monday? The park is open now on Mondays. And then the Nature Center is open uh, Tuesday through Saturday, 9.30 to 5, and Sundays 1 to 5. And you guys still offer camping? We still offer camping. We offer boats. Uh, uh, right now we have the John boats available. Mm -hmm. Starting in April, we have kayaks and pedal boats open as, uh, open as well. Uh, hiking, bird watching, photography. Uh, shelters are great places for family picnics or company picnics or reunions, weddings, whatever you can think of. 
And I like how you've got the huge shelter that's out there in the field, but then there are also a couple of nice little shelters tucked away where if you've got a smaller group, something a little more private, a little kind of cool areas to kind of go and explore as well. Like that. All right, what's the phone number people can call for more information? It is 252-329-4560. Thank you much, Chris. No problem. Thanks, Appreciate Steve. it.